The purpose of this video is to show what movement scaling means in practice. Here I make some free movement on a one-to-one -one scale. So the robot follows exactly the movements I make with the haptic arm. By changing the scaling factor of the movement between the haptic arm and the robot, the magnitude of the induced movement can be adjusted. Here, I change the scaling factor of the rotational movement to one-tenth. In this case, the orientation of the robot tool changes only slightly, even if I change the rotation of my wrist a lot. This can be advantageous when performing a haptic task where there is a preferred tool orientation in which to perform the task. Next, I change the scaling so that both position and rotation are scaled to one-tenth. With this setting, I have to do quite a bit of haptic tool movement and indexing to change the position and orientation of the robot TCP. This can be useful in very tricky situations where only small, controlled movements are desirable. In the following video, the usefulness of scaling is demonstrated by a very quick and easy vacuuming of the target environment.